Hello, Read Rockets. Welcome to another wonderful read aloud with Mrs. Weber. I've chosen a third book by, by Michael Garland. This is a short and sweet book by him, but again, I'm captivated by his illustrations. They make me smile, so enjoy the book. Where's my homework? Where's my homework by Michael Garland? Look at him, focusing and concentrating. I hope your mind has grown significantly this year at Reed Elementary. Keep pushing yourself, write longer, add one more story problem to your math work, learn about social studies, history, keep up the fine work. So where's my homework by Michael Garland? Homework? Homework? I know I did it, but where is it? I looked on my desk. Nothing. I looked under the bed. Nothing. I looked in the bathtub. Nothing. My sister Maybe my sister had seen my homework. No, I haven't, she said. Are you sure you did it? Yes, I did it. But where could my homework be? Maybe Martians from outer space invaded my room and abducted my homework. Look at him reading. I imagine him reading all of his words. They're probably checking his mathematics to make sure the answers are correct. Remember to ask your family to help you too along the way to make sure you're on the right path as well. Maybe pirates plundered my homework and made it walk the plank. Do, 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 do. Look at all their hooks on their hands. Remember, I'm enchanted by Michael Garland because of his creativity and his imagination. Maybe a big fat boa constrictor slithered away with it. What journey could your homework be on? Maybe my homework ran away and joined the circus. Look at how silly they are. Checking his work again, reading his work. Maybe a wicked witch cast a spell on my homework and turned it into a frog. Hocus pocus, find my homework. Maybe a dragon flew into my room and toasted my homework. I hope you noticed the strong verbs in this book, like toasted, ab abducted. Maybe some wild monkeys climbed in my window and trashed my homework. What ideas do you have for missing homework, Read Rockets? Suddenly, my mother called from downstairs. Hurry up, sweetie, you're running late. Oh no, what could I do? Look at his face, ah, oh, help, help, he's saying. Then, from the living room, I heard something strange, chewing and licking and slobbering sounds. It was frothy gobbling up the last pages of ah, my homework. Frumpy looked at me with a big smile as if to say, thanks, that was delicious. I didn't know what else to do, so I took Frumpy to school to explain what happened to my homework. Hmm, how oh, will the teacher respond? Hmm. My teacher looked at Frumpy with one eyebrow raised and said, hmm, so the dog ate your homework. But before I could say anything, Frumpy's stomach grumbled. Then came another louder rumble. Frumpy groaned like a volcano that was about to erupt. Ah. He tried to hold it in but it was no use. Frumpy let it loose. Brrrr. 
Toy. Good dog, Frumpy. Thank you, Read Rockets, for another wonderful Read Aloud. Keep up the fine work with your schoolwork.